happening today red rocks trading in the loud music in celebration for more of a somber memorial yes yeah, cdot is honoring those who have been killed on the roads here in colorado due to speeding fox 31's courtney Fromm joins us live from red rocks with the unique way i i say they're being remembered and certainly they're remembering those lives but more importantly they're trying to send a message trying to save other lives courtney Yep, good morning to you both. And that's exactly what is happening here at Red Rocks. It's so interesting. We were just talking with one of the organizers here with CEDAW, and they were saying a lot of people, and we've been seeing it ourselves, they're stopping. They're looking at these signs. They're taking pictures. They're asking questions about what's kind of going on here. But you can see 257 people died in 2023 in speed-related crashes here in the state of Colorado. And now they're all being represented on this magnitude just to show just how big of an issue it is. You can see people... Jefferson County, a 16 year old girl, a 39 year old man in Jefferson County, Kit Carson, uh, all over Hinsdale County, all over our state. And they they were talking to us about it, kind of like the statistics. It's as young as 11 years old, up to 84 years old. And we actually know in 2023, that was the leading factor when it came to traffic deaths in our state. And like I said, they're just trying to get that message out and get people to slow down because they want the roads to be safe for everyone. I mean, look at all this. These are people ranging in age from 11 to 84 years old. Um, most of them are men, um, which really isn't surprising because men tend to be the ones that are the risk takers on our roadways. They tend to be the one who are speeding, especially young men. So I imagine a lot of these people were innocent victims of people who um, were caught in the crossfire of somebody who was speeding on our roads. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's just kind of the situation. So the goal here is to get people to slow down. You can see some of these, it's really hard to look at. A 14-year-old girl in Eagle County killed in a speeding crash. It's just really, really heartbreaking. And hopefully, this gets across the message. And they said they specifically had to do this event at Red Rocks because, A, they know there's a lot of people that come here. But, B, there was nowhere else that they could think of that would be able to hold this many signs. You see three levels and even a fourth level having some additional signs up there as well. Now, something else cool that CDOT is doing, they're really trying to push the slowdown message, is they've started a Spotify playlist of mellow music. You can go and download it on your Spotify list, put it on while you're in your car because they say research shows that you tend to drive just a little bit slower or at the speed limit when you're listening to more mellow music versus kind of high tempo or fast paced music. Very interesting there. But again, the message takeaway here, please just slow down for our kiddos, for our wildlife, for other people on the road and mostly for yourselves. But for now, live Red Rocks, Courtney from Fox 31. Yeah, I feel like especially now with most kids back in school at this yeah. point, it's more important than ever that totally. people really pay attention, slow down. All right. Thank you, Courtney.